Okay. Hi, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, uh, here to talk about a, uh, a brand new Frank Ocean announcement. Yes, uh, th there there is uh, been a lot of discussion of Frank Ocean over the past 24 hours, but unfortunately that discussion has basically nothing to do with new music. There's no new music to be excited for, not a peep, not a sound, not a note, not a melody to be heard. Uh, but what do we have in instead. Uh, something to come out of Frank Ocean's uh, new luxury brand, Homer, which we haven't talked about on this channel yet, but has been covered uh, across the music blogosphere, across the fashion osphere as well, since obviously it kind of gets into uh, jewelry and necklaces, various luxury items. And uh, yeah, this, this latest one is maybe the most interesting of them. It's a ring, but uh, you know, you can kind of see it depicted in this uh, image here. Angles on that have me itching. Apparently it's diamond encrusted. Oh Lord. Oh my God. Um, uh, what do you even say about this? Because I feel like something has to be said. Like, obviously it's so absurd. It's so over the top and so outside of the realm of like what anybody wants Frank Ocean to be doing right now. I, I, I feel like something has to be said. Obviously you don't wanna come out and try to step on the guy's creativity and his progress and his process. And, and certainly he would be far from the first artist to uh, enter into the fashion world, into the jewelry world. So in that respect, like there's nothing super crazy about uh, what he's doing with Homer generally. But seriously, considering how many years it's been since Blonde and you are uh, one of the most influential and in-demand artists uh, in your creative lane, in your genre, um, it, it's, it's not like people are kind of sitting here waiting for you to come out with a, a super expensive you know, that is so ridiculously overpriced. Like there, there's pretty much nobody in your audience that would actually be able to purchase this thing, which is pretty much the case for most of the luxury items that you can uh, you know, buy through Frank Ocean's Homer brand. And I, I guess you know that, that's been kind of a, a problem, been kind of a thing, but I feel like uh, this ring here makes it uh, uh, too obvious not to point out, even though, uh, you know, I'm a little late to the party on commenting on this. Usually when artists like come out with, uh, you know, some fashionable wares, uh, usually it's at least taken into account that uh, th their fans should be able to buy it. Now, granted, uh, some artists like Kanye West, Travis Scott, and many others um, overprice that shit like way too freaking much. Yes, are there some teenage hype beasts who are willing to pay uh, that price, but you know, you're, you're really kind of gouging at that point. But what Frank Ocean is doing here with Homer is like really on another level of ridiculousness. Um, not only in terms of like what his necklaces and rings and so on and so forth have been priced at so far. And obviously like, you know, you could take my taste and my uh, thoughts on some of these pieces with a grain of salt as a, you know, I'm not a designer. I'm not anything like that, but uh, a, a lot of it looks like overpriced bullshit. As if that was wasn't enough. Uh, now we're going to come out with uh, a diamond encrusted, which, uh, if used on a regular basis, will most likely get like you know um, bodily fluids and stuff all over it. I'm just. Uh, having a hard time imagining the demographic for this. Is it the son of a greedy oil tycoon who's like, you know, destroying the planet? Is it, uh, I don't know, um, somebody who is the child of uh, a hyper billionaire like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, uh, somewhere in that realm? Am I getting close? Who are the people you're catering to with this garbage, again, like there's nothing wrong with getting into fashion. There's nothing wrong with getting into jewelry. There's nothing wrong with getting into these fields. But when you're entering into it in such a way uh, to where you are essentially telling your fans to like, just suck it. Yeah, that's kind of trash. That's kind of awful. That's kind of not really cool at all. And I feel like the uh, problem is made even more egregious when you're not only talking about shit that is just way overpriced, but like shit that is overpriced and it's an item that like sensibly speaking, no normal person, even somebody with seven figures in their bank account w wouldn't necessarily like 
throw this money down on that. I mean, I suppose the fact that the diamonds are lab grown, that's uh, cool. But um, honestly, I, I don't think I'm alone in kind of feeling here that can we music? Can we have a song? Designing luxury items for morons who have enough money to solve world hunger, but they're most likely never going to spend that money on that because they are greedy pieces of shit um, is... I, I think kind of a really unflattering look. Like, Frank Ocean did an amazing job of gaming the system. Now it just seems like now that he's established, he's just kind of pitching us the same crappy snake oil as uh, basically anybody else in a position of uh, capitalistic influence. I really don't have anything else to say other than uh, it, it kind of sucks. But uh, feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, for sure, we will be interested to read them over here next to my my head is another video that you could check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, uh, Frank Ocean, uh, forever.